I'm Jason Kildary at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and this is my story. I'm the coach of the Drexel Triathlon team. I generally get together with the kids uh, twice a week. I ran in college, um, cross country and track and field at Rowan University, and then I also did some triathlons during the summer. So in 1996, I was diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease uh, when I was a freshman in high school. Polycystic kidney disease runs rampant in our family. My aunts had a transplant, my dad's had a transplant, my sister's had a transplant. The summer of 2006, I decided to play uh, football on the beach with the guys that were a lot bigger than me. Um, and I remember after the game thinking, you know what, I probably ruptured some cysts. And then it was just a, a chain reaction the next nine months. I had one kidney taken out, and then complications of that surgery. I was on dialysis, then I had to get another kidney taken out. I had a colostomy bag in. I'd never seen so many tubes and so many machines in one room. And that's when I thought, you know, this is, I don't think it's, I don't think I'll make it. I was almost dead. I almost died. The first thing that came to my mind is, am I going to be able to play sports? When I was first diagnosed with it, they said no sports, but my dad basically took me inside and said, this isn't going to change your life. You're going to continue doing what you love to do. And I did. I knew I needed a transplant when all these cysts started to rupture. I'm not a shy person. As soon as the doctor said, hey, you need a kidney, I contacted every single person at one point in time and said they would you know, consider giving me a kidney. Regardless if they meant that or not, I put it in their face and said, hey, here's your chance. Go get tested. Um, and they all did. There's people that are on transplant lists for three, four, five, six years. Um, it was six months later that someone came to me and said, hey, you know what, I am a match for you. And it happened to be one of my good friends from college, uh, Nick Osanis. I had my kidney transplant on April 9th, 2009. As soon as I had that transplant, literally 24 hours, you know, after the transplant, I felt like a new person. Lactate threshold. Six weeks after uh, the transplant that I was back doing what I normally do, coaching, swimming, I started you know, working out a little bit. I absolutely have no restrictions. Nick, he, within six weeks after giving me that kidney, he was back running 5Ks, you know, 30 seconds slower than he was in college. He's living a completely normal life. Every time I go to the doctors, they say, you know, your kidney is better than ours. The transplant is never behind me. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to speak to groups of people, whether they are transplant recipients, they're going to be possible donors, to doctors, to, to, to nurses, and tell them my story. I will always be that quote unquote preacher of, hey, you know, let, we need more donors, but at the same time, we can really stop a lot of end stage renal you know, kidney disease um, with just simple quality of life changes. You know, look at the, the before and afters. Yeah, you know, the, the surgery's not the easiest thing in the world. You might be in pain for a, a week or so, but after that, you know, you've just given someone life. Like, literally life, you know. They, they are a new person at this point, and that's a, that's a very rare thing to do.